Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Early in the week, on Monday, before the Monday night football game, we posted a video on early picks. I admit I'm behind the eight ball right now. I did take the Denver Broncos over Kansas City. Denver looked terrible. Denver's offensive line looked non-existent. Flacco got sacked something like nine times. Even with Pat Mahomes out of the game, Matt Moore came in and was still able to riddle the Denver Bronco defense. So starting the week, we're 0-1. The other bet offered on Monday were the Philadelphia Eagles getting points over the Dallas Cowboys. We got them early in the week, so we actually got more points than the current spread of 2.5. But even with the 2.5, I think the Eagles are the play in that game. I believe I got three points at the beginning of the week. Well, two more plays to consider here. These are the late week picks. Alvin Kamara, according to reports, is out. I personally believe Alvin Kamara is one of the most important players in the entire league. He'll be missing against a very stout Chicago Bear defense, and the Bears are at home. Right? I like the Chicago Bears over the Saints. I don't like the point spread, which is a minus four right now. So I'm taking the Bears on a money line at a minus 205 over the Saints in Chicago. I like a money line on the Bears game. I like the home team. Right? The other bet I like here late in the week. I like the Seattle Seahawks laying three points at home over the Baltimore Ravens. Both of these teams recently played against the Cleveland Browns. Baltimore had all kinds of problems. Right? All kinds of problems against the Browns. Seattle just seemed to be a better team. At a minimum, I thought Seattle's defense looked better than Baltimore's defense. Also, I believe Baltimore's numbers are inflated right now by the fact that they've played some bad teams like the Miami Dolphins. Also consider the fact that Russell Wilson is having an MVP season right now. And this game is in Seattle. I like Seattle laying the three points over the Baltimore Ravens. That's how I see it late in the week. I like these two games plus the Philadelphia Eagles over the Dallas Cowboys. Urban Meyer, formerly of Florida and Ohio State, has come out and has said that if asked, he would certainly consider being the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Understand, Jason Garrett remains unsigned for next year. Understand, Dak Prescott remains unsigned for next year. In my opinion, that kind of controversy over time destabilizes a locker room. When you know the starting quarterback might not be there, the head coach might not be there. Plus, the Cowboys are gimpy in some key areas, right? Amari Cooper, who really lifted Dak Prescott's stats last year. He's had some health problems. He hasn't been himself. If you look at the metrics on Carson Wentz, he's having a spectacular year, folks. Right? I believe the Eagles, you're getting them at a bargain because they laid an egg last week against Minnesota. So, I'll agree, the Eagles secondary hasn't been up to par. But who's that going to throw too deep? I like the Eagles getting the points against the Dallas Cowboys. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you put your picks. I hope you put your comments on these games in the comment section here on this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.